Hey everybody and welcome to another Photoshop tip video. Today I'm gonna to show you something that I use on a daily basis. I'm gonna show you how to mask textures onto layers. Now the actual act of masking textures onto layers is a pretty simple thing and you might already know how to do that. But in this video, I thought that I'd dive just a little bit into how I use textures uh, when I create things. I, I do these very photorealistic stuff and in many cases they are made from meshes of actual textures, real life photos. So I wanted to show you how I work with those things and some of the considerations around using textures when you're masking them onto layers. Now let's start with something fun. I've been playing around with this project that I call App Icon Wars, where I draw Star Wars characters as uh, app icons, uh, just to play around with the restrictions. And uh, this is obviously, hopefully you can tell that this is Kylo Ren. And this is pretty far into the process of rendering this thing. And I wanted to show you how I use textures to help create this look. Now, what you see up here is, is kind of like his, his hoodie, right? But it needs some textures and I have just the thing for it. So here we have some really interesting woven material. This is kind of like the fabric that I think that the hoodie is made of. And, uh, and what I do is essentially I'm masking that onto the shape. Here's the shape of the hoodie that I've drawn. And here is the material, the texture masked onto that shape. It's it's just masking with a regular blending mode. And then I'm drawing on top of that with uh, some overlay modes, uh, just kind of painting in the highlights and the shadows. And what I wanted to show you here was that to make it fit and make it look a little more lifelike, uh, what I've done is I've actually warped it quite a bit. And if you hit Command T uh, on the layer, you get a transform box and you can right click that and you can hit warp and that shows you this grit and when i start to pull around the grit you'll see how the material the, the masked texture starts to warp on top of that masked layer and this way i can make the texture mesh into the shape and into the illustration that i'm doing in a, in a better way so that's a lot of fun now let's take a look at how something like this would look if we were just starting out let's just create a new canvas here Let's just do a circle. Let's say we want to mask a texture on here and, and create some sort of interesting look for this. Now what I do is I have this ever growing folder of just textures. When I have my camera with me, I take pictures of all sorts of surfaces and I keep them here. I also use websites like textures.com and um, basically find stuff and keep it in this folder so that when I need to recreate something, I can actually use real life textures and bring those into Photoshop and work with those to create a look. Now we actually have something in here called orbs and just wanted to show you, uh, let's, oh yes, let's go with this chrome orb here. We're gonna take that into Photoshop and uh, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna mask that onto the ellipse. So this isn't particularly creative. We've basically just taken a picture of something, a real physical thing, and then masked it onto something here in Photoshop. But once we have the texture in there, we can start doing all these interesting things with it, right? As some of you guys know, I am a huge fan of blending modes and uh, particularly the overlay blending mode. So let's just change the masked texture here to overlay. And now it's already looking a little more interesting. Uh, maybe we'll do the same thing as we did with Kylo Ren's hoodie. We'll warp it a little bit. So we can warp the texture around. Maybe it's a little more of a sort of a, something like that. And maybe uh, we can use a gradient to throw some light on it, as you've seen in my previous video. And uh, we'll mask that onto there. Let's just uh, make that a radial. And also let's make it overlay. Scale it down a little bit. You know, now we have a gradient that can kind of burn into the texture and create a sense of lighting. And maybe we'll have two points of lighting. We'll do another one and have that maybe come from like from down here. So here you kind of you kind of see how we're using real life textures, but we're bringing them into Photoshop to play around with them, to mesh them and to mask them onto shapes. There's a million other things that I could talk about when talking about manipulating textures in Photoshop. I use this a lot. I, I, I like to bring a little bit of the real world into Photoshop to, to create this hybrid of something that still looks a little cartoony or a little 
drawn in a way and something that retains some of the, the physical qualities of, of the real world. And I think the meshing of those two things like, creates a really interesting style. So that is a very brief introduction on how you mask textures onto objects.